Yo, what's up, people? So today I'm gonna talk about caps. Uh huh. Should wear a cap. Some of us cannot wake up early in the morning to go to class because we suck. <laughs> And most of them start like this. You get woken up by your alarm at eight. Then you realize you have class at 8 a.m. and you're late. Your hair is messy, but you're not going to school like that. But you do not have the time to style your hair, and you need a quick solution, and you need it right now. Just wear a cap. Now you're ready. It takes more time to prepare our hair than just putting on a cap. So to me, wearing a cap is like covering a crime scene. Yeah, like your hair is messy and it's a crime scene, then you cover it. Look at this guy over here. He's wearing his chains and rings, but he looks quite off due to his hair. Need to change that up. Now look at this guy over here. Well, just a cap. Now he turned into a superstar. So I think by now you should get the importance of caps. I'll be showing you examples of on how I style my caps. So this is an everyday outfit which everyone can pull off easily. Shorts because it's hot, an oversized white tee, and a bracelet which my friends gave me when I was in secondary school. Due to the light wash of the denim, the orange cap is considered the pop in the fit. You can also change the shirt to a black shirt. Again, the orange cap works because of the blues in the light wash shorts. If you don't have an orange cap, you can of course wear a black cap, which is considered an essential to everyone's wardrobe. Now, when you have a lot going on in your fit, for example, bright colors in your fit, you want to make sure your cap does not pop too much. I either let it be black or just match it with the shirt or the pants if you are able to. Now, just with a plain black shirt and jeans, which can work well with an orange cap or also a black cap. Notice how the feeling of the fit actually changes when you just change the color of the cap. A buying tip for y'all: If you want to buy caps, I would recommend going in store because you do not know what types of cap you like. What types of caps? There are soft front caps and hard front caps, and I personally like soft front. To me, it feels like a more premium build to me. Why am I doing this? <sighs> yeah, and I like Nike caps personally, and you can like Adidas caps with those three stripes, which I do not like. Fight me. So these are the current caps that I have. You can do some personal embroidery for your caps, and I actually wash this cap quite often and rub the sides a bit with a damp cloth because I wanted it to go for a more a more vintage feel to the cap. So if you want to clean your cap and maintain the crisp color of it. I would actually recommend taking a damp cloth and wiping the insides of it, just the insides, and after that, just put it under the sun to dry. Because like that, you wouldn't actually damage the exterior of the cap, so the exterior of the cap would still look crisp and clean. Cool. Or you could just refer to the um, thing inside here. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all are doing good and just doing good. Yeah. Peace.